Ebola claimed more than 3,000 lives in 2015. Potential vaccines were fast-tracked, and clinical trials had started in West Africa early in the year. Then in July came news about a vaccine trial in Guinea, overseen by the Norwegian Institute of Public Health. Based on the number of individuals and cases we see, uh, there is 100% protection in those vaccinated. There was also news during the year about progress in the fight against another lethal virus, HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. Just before World AIDS Day, the UN said nearly 16 million people are now on HIV treatment, that new infections have fallen by 35 percent since 2000, and that AIDS-related deaths have fallen by 42 percent since the peak in 2004. If you look at the trajectory of the epidemic, we are on a course towards ending it in the sense of as we know it, because we've always known it as going up, now it's flattening off, and now it's going to start to go down. 2015 also saw a huge advance in ridding the world of polio. At one time, the polio virus circulated in 125 countries. In September, the World Health Organization removed Nigeria from the list of polio endemic countries. Now there are only two, Afghanistan and Pakistan. That's the only place in the whole world where, where wild polio virus still lives. And if we could knock it out there, we're finished with wild polio virus. Despite the successes, there are concerns. The World Health Organization warned that we're heading towards a post-antibiotics era, one in which common infections will once again kill because of resistance to medication. Health officials are also concerned about drug-resistant tuberculosis and malaria. <coughs> the WHO has called for an intensified campaign in 2016 to end the global TB epidemic. Challenges also lie ahead in getting the polio vaccine to Afghan children in areas held by Islamic militants and to develop treatments and vaccines against newly emerging infectious diseases. Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington.